Right. Hello guys, this is Sassy Nick here doing another shelf video, another two shelves. So let's get started. I don't know what else to say. Got a lot of the flies right here. I've not seen that, but uh, yeah. Forrest Gump, great movie. One of the best dramas in the 90s, I guess. Full Metal Jacket, also a very good war movie. Uh, from Hell. Interesting, uh, kind of a movie where you watch it and you feel like, yeah, it's definitely like a movie I'm watching. Kind of like a, feels very cinematic for some reason. Uh, Freddie Mercury, the Great Pretender. Great, great, great documentary about Freddie Mercury, Freddie Mercury. And also what got me into Queen, you know. The uh, Fritz Lang collection. Actually has a bunch more discs than, watch that, than just one. Uh, have like two movies and like an interview or something like that. Gangs of New York. Great Scorsese. Great Gatsby. I know there's a original one that I heard probably is better. And the soundtrack is not really the greatest but it just looks really cool and uh, I do like the Monero so that's that. Uh, Great Mile. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Especially because of uh, Michael Clark Duncan. I do feel that he is one of the best actors from the 90s and uh, I really wish he had won an Oscar for this movie but he did not. But he sort of was very great. I see him right there. You know, he's supposed to be playing this uh, this uh, convict who's like supposedly killed two people but actually he's just an innocent kind of a mental challenge guy and he's just, he's really good in this movie. Lama Tung Hams and everyone else. Goodfellas, very uh, famous movie that I have not finished watching because it's kind of like skips halfway and then feel like really watching it, so I'll watch it so sometime. Good Will Hunting, probably the only movie I can even remember I've seen with uh, Matt Damon, and of course we have Robbie Williams in a more serious role that he also did that I'm also gonna show, and all one of his more serious roles, which uh, which uh, yeah also very good. Great movie, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, do not have any of the Blu-rays whatsoever, but these movies are really good, I mean, I don't know, I don't have that great sense of humor, I don't know, my humor is kind of weird, but uh, great comedy. Ginger Schnaps, Ginger Schnaps Unleashed, or 2, I don't remember, but I do have all the Ginger Schnaps movies, uh, Gladiator, Great movie, but uh, they do take the same. Uh, they do take the same kind of uh, material, I guess, for pretty much all sort of gladiator type flicks nowadays. The uh, Golden Compass. Yeah, I don't really remember too much. Just know that I've seen this movie in theaters, and I was kind of hoping that it was gonna like end with one movie, but not that I want the series to end. But you know, I thought it was just like gonna end and kind of end on a cliffhanger. And I got no idea if there's gonna be any more. I think there's gonna be another one in 2016. But I don't. I, no, actually, I think that's some other movie franchise. I think that's Narnia, but these kind of movies kind of. They have a very northern feel to it, I guess. Some way. So I don't think there's gonna be any more, certainly. Uh, Hatchet. Decent. Halloween. One of my. my Probably my second favorite movie of all time. Very, very good. Heartless, uh, not the best movie of the start, but the ending is pretty good, I would say. So it's also kind of one of my favorites, even though it's not like, I wouldn't say it's nearly one of the best movies ever made. But it has a really, really cool ending. Hellboy. The Hobbit, great movie. Slotted movie when I was in theaters, along with the second one. Very much looking forward to the third one, and also getting that one on DVD whenever I can find it. Uh, yeah. Great movies. I really am thankful that they decided to make another sort of Lord of the Rings sort of thing, I guess. I don't know. Very good. Uh, House of Haunted Hill. This is a comedy, Dennis comedy uh, special that is called uh, Come With Emin. I don't know how to or bring me Emin. I don't know. It's kind of a Danish special. Uh, another thing Danish. Hold me. I am a fish. I think that's a translation. A uh, Danish cartoon movie, feature film, 
very very cool, a bit dark actually. I also love the fact that it's just completely Danish. It's nice to see some some Danish animation once in a while, you know. Uh, Hans Beck of Notre Dame, favorite uh, Disney movie and one of my favorite movies of all time. Hunger Games. Do still need the second one. Probably not gonna watch the first one in theater though. I don't know. It's kind of not that interesting in it anymore. The Invisible Man, great movie. I Am Legend, first horror movie I ever watched, as well as a movie that made me afraid of horror movies until I saw like Halloween, and then Halloween also kind of made me love movies even more. So, you know, it's just it was very scary in theaters, but I think if I ever rewatch it, which I probably will someday, I'm just not gonna be as scared. But it depends if I watch it in a dark theater, I'll probably have some kind of trauma. <laughs> Inglorious Bastards, eh, good enough. Iron Man, one of the few Marvel movies that I really like. Have not seen the sequels. Done English. I still like Citizens, but it does have a uh, does have Mr. Bean or you know what's his name again? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Attack. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Watership Down. Sorry, had a little brain fart there. Kickass. Would have loved to see this in the theater. This also comes with the uh, comic book, the first chapter of the comic book. King Kong, one of the greatest movies ever. Great uh, great acting as well as some really good uh, early puppetry, puppetry work. Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2. Uh, so yeah. I do enjoy the original, or the first volume first, the most. And uh, I am very much looking forward to possibly seeing the third one. But volume in fear, that's whatever that is, is gonna have come out. Kramer vs. Kramer, great movie. Uh, some Disney Blu rays. Uh, Lady and the. What was it called? <laughs> I forget. Lady and the Tramp. This Blu ray and DVD. Not too many Blu rays. But this one with the Lady and Tramp was very cheap and it's also a great movie. Letters from Iwo Jima, still have not seen this. It's pretty good. It's one for Oscars, I think. William Stitch, another one of my favorite Disney movies, and just yeah, great. Uh, probably not. I don't know if I would say it's like the best, most classic, but it is a modern classic, cl animated classic to me. And it, you know, kind of make two, like it's two sequels and two series of it all. So that's really cool. Lot of War, one of the better Nicolas Cage movie movies. Uh, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, I guess, Malcolm X, with Denzel Washington, very good movie as well. Man of Deal, people have some very different opinions. I feel it's really good for the action and the special effects, but acting wise, I, I don't know, I just hope the sequel is gonna be a bit more, a bit different, I guess. Uh, Man of the Moon, one of the greatest, probably my favorite Jim Carrey movie. I, f I guess I don't know really. I'd say it's at least the only one of his movies I really own besides The Mask. Uh, Maniac, nineteen eighties. Josh Spinell, very interesting movie. Uh, the Man Without a Face. Marion Max, a very depressing movie, but really cool that there still exists there. Puppet movies, or puppetry movies nowadays. Lee Mask. Uh, some pretty interesting uh, idea for a movie. The Matrix. I don't know what to say about that. The fact that it looks really cool. Mega Mind. Uh, a bit of an honorary movie. It has like the superhero idea, and it also has like an entire soundtrack by ACDC. So. If you're thinking about getting this, definitely. It's really a, it's really cool at the very least. Has a really awesome soundtrack. Minority Report, Tom Cruise. <sighs> Haven't finished the deal though. I don't know. Just have not. Just didn't really like the concept that much. Uh, the Mummy, 1932. <sighs> and Mummy, or The Mummy again. 2000 something. Natural Libre, uh, kind of always remember this comedy, but uh, probably the only movie with Jack Black I've watched. National Treasure 2, 
do want the first one. Natural Born Killers. Very interesting movie. No country for old men. Just gotta pull it out because it's pretty hard to get it out. Yeah.